Many believed the future of Pakistan so as the two main stakeholders depended upon the fate of PK-805. The flight carrying back General Musharraf and over 190 other passengers from Sri Lanka. Going by the account given by General Musharraf and the pilot, who later gave his statement before the court of law. The problem started when the plane was approaching Karachi airport. The control tower told the pilot not to land at Karachi. The other choice was Nawabshah airport. But the pilot was told that he could not land anywhere in Pakistan. The plane finally landed, but after a nerve-wracking high drama, which ended only after the loyal commanders of General Musharraf took charge of the situation. Later, the record produced before the court of law showed definite tension at the time of the landing of the plane. Nawaz Sharif was booked for hijacking flight PK-805, and it took him more than nine years to get himself cleared of all charges. All along, Nawaz Sharif's loyalists insisted that it was a drama staged by the military to take over the country. And not once the civilian government asked the pilot not to land at the Karachi airport. There is a, a pilot debrief after every flight. No untoward incident was mentioned on that flight by the pilot himself, who later on perjured himself before the court, spoke lies for hours before the court. General Musharraf gives a thrilling account of the incident in his autobiography. However, after his departure from the scene, there are very few people ready to defend his move. Dawn News tried to contact General Musharraf's former spokesman, Major General Rashid Qureshi, his lawyer, Barrister Muhammad Ali Saif, and his close commanders. None was available for comments. Sharif and his men have been making frontal attacks on General Musharraf. The Pakistan army had moved to remove the elected government at that time, uh, even before General Musharraf's uh, aircraft took off from uh, Bali. It all started at around 5 p.m. on October 12, 1999, with the sacking of General Musharraf and appointment of DGISI General Ziauddin Bhatt as new army chief. When the flight was delayed, or we were told that uh, the arrival has been delayed, at one point, the flag was removed from the car and the, the four-star plate was covered. Uh, that gave an impression that probably now Nawaz Sharif was in control of the situation and Musharraf is being regarded as a retired uh, army chief and he'll be received in, uh, in that capacity. Soon after his appointment, General Bhatt ordered the removal of Chief of General Staff General Aziz and Rawal Pindi Corps Commander General Mahmood to be replaced by General Salim Haider. So when General Zauddin but rang me up, it was uh, quite a surprising thing for me. But it was not an elevation for me or uh, uh, there was no, not much of an excitement as far as I'm concerned because I had already commanded 10 corps. But General Zauddin Butt's orders were rejected by high command. General Aziz, General Mahmood, Director General of Military Operation, General Shahid Aziz, 
कोर कमांडर कराची जनरल मुजफ्फर उस्मानी एंड ब्रिगेडियर सलाउद्दीन सती ऑफ ट्रिपल वन ब्रिगेड स्टेज अकू वाइल जनरल मुशरस प्लेन वॉज स्टिल इन द एयर Army troops moved to secure important installations in the country including the state media that announced the news of removal of General Parvez Musharraf that main gate of the PTV could not stop the soldiers to move inside By 8:30 p.m. things were becoming clear the army began arresting several important as well as very important people all over the country If I was having lunch with Mian Shabash Sharif at the PM house that afternoon, I would have been there at the time of coup, and uh, nobody would have believed that the Indian minister was there at the PM house just for lunch. And I was, I would have been most li likely part of the hijacking case. The entire Sharif family, including the Prime Minister and his brother, the Punjab Chief Minister Shabash Sharif, were also taken into custody. All of a sudden, there were more than 50, 60 commandos, and they positioned their guns towards me, and they said that uh, we have received certain orders, and you have to comply with those orders. I said that uh, I'm not an alien; I'm a citizen of Pakistan, and uh, I'm a responsible citizen of Pakistan. I would not uh, create problems for you. This was the end of an elected government. While some lamented the incident. others were celebrating the pmln's removal